let's talk about some of the things that Vice President Harris has accomplished during her term. First, we have to understand what the role of Vice President actually is. People give Kamala Harris too much credit for the amount of power she actually holds. The Vice President has three main responsibilities. The first of that being that they are the President of the Senate. So they preside over the Senate and have the sole power to cast tie-breaking votes in the event that 50 Senators say yay and 50 Senators say nay to a piece of legislation. Kamala Harris has had the most tie-breaking votes in the Senate of any other Vice President in American history. Their second main responsibility is to preside over the reception of electoral votes during a presidential election. So obviously this hasn't been done yet, but she will have that responsibility come November 5th when we have our presidential election. Lastly, and perhaps the most important, the whole reason the role of vice president was established is to take over for the president if they were to resign or die during their term. So in terms of is Kamala Harris a good VP, if we look solely at the responsibilities given to her by the law, yes, she is. She's filled all of her roles and completed them quite well in terms of this. Now, that's only looking at the responsibilities directly granted to her by the United States Constitution. The other things she can do are advise and stand by the President of the United States. Kamala Harris has been instrumental in some of the legislation and actions that we've seen taken by the Biden-Harris administration. To start, Biden rejoined the Paris Climate Accords on his first day in office. Kamala's climate initiatives were instrumental in making this happen. Second, Harris helped write the Inflationary Reduction Act, which is a landmark United States federal law that aims to possibly reduce federal government budget deficit, lower prescription drug, drug prices, uh, and invest in domestic energy production while promoting clean energy. Under the Biden-Harris administration, we have seen historic record-breaking oil production reaching 12.9 million barrels a day. We're also currently number one in the world for accessible oil reserves. When she was a United States Senator, she worked on passing the Maternal Care Act and the Black Maternal Momnibus Act, and those acts both paved the way for the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, which makes a historic investment in drinking water and wastewater infrastructure. It helps to deliver clean drinking water to all. Uh, it helps American families and eliminate the, nation, the nation's lead service lines. It authorizes $1.2 trillion for transportation and infrastructure spending, with $550 billion of that figure going towards new investments and programs. It created thousands of jobs and then created entirely new industries in the United States workforce. In 2023, President Biden created the first ever federal Office of Gun Violence Profe Prevention. Now, there are several offices of gun violence prevention on the state level, but this is the first Office of Gun Violence Prevention we've had on the federal level, and Kamala Harris was appointed to oversee that office during her term. Now, you may be asking, well, how did these things affect me? Kamala Harris casting tie-breaking votes in the Senate affects what our Senate is able to accomplish in order for our senators to properly serve their constituents. The Inflationary Reduction Act helped the United States see the best recovery from the global inflation crisis caused by COVID-19 than any other G7 country. That helps you out a lot. Providing the necessary infrastructure and funding to help get lead out of our water helps everyone. The reality is, is that there's never not going to be small amounts of lead in our water. There's lead and metalloids in soil. It's pretty much everywhere, but it helps drastically decrease the amount of lead in the water and in the food that we're eating and drinking. Like I said before, the vice president of the United States doesn't have a ton of real power, but when it comes to the Biden-Harris administration, Harris was able to work with Joe Biden on getting a lot of very, very, very important legislation passed. 